The Netflix's Spanish TV show Money Heist can be confusing to follow thanks to multiple flashbacks, so here's how the timeline works. Netflix's Money Heist show doesn't have a completely linear story, so here's an explanation of how the timeline works. The Spanish crime drama was created as a limited series but has found a significant following through Netflix. After recutting the first season into two parts seasons, the viewership on Netflix resulted in the streaming service renewing Money Heist for another two seasons. The fourth batch of episodes arrived in April 2020 and saw Money Heist become one of Netflix's most popular titles. The story of Money Heist revolves around elaborate heists orchestrated by the professor, Alvaro Morte, who steals money from banks and has a code not to harm anyone in the process. Money Heist Season 1 follows the job at the Royal Mint of Spain, and Season 2 focuses on robbing the Bank of Spain. Both heists see the professor call the shots as his team of robbers with city-themed code names attempt to stick to the intricate plans. But, thanks to the longevity of the heists and various flashbacks, the money heist timeline can be a bit confusing. Before the professor was involved in any heists, the idea to attempt them came from his father. The professor's father was a criminal who told him about his plan for the perfect heist, which became the inspiration for the Royal Mint of Spain heist years later. This predates the main story of Money Heist, and it is revealed in Season 2 that the plan for the Bank of Spain heist was in the works before Season 1. Flashbacks during Money Heist Season 2 show Berlin Pedro Alonso, the professor's brother, explaining how the heist could happen a few years before Season 1 began. From there, Money Heist Seasons 1 and 2 have a reasonably straightforward timeline of events. It begins with the professor saving Tokyo Ursula Corbero from the police and assembling the team of robbers for the Royal Mint of Spain heist. The professor and his team take five months to construct and go over the plan for the job. The present-day setting of the story comes during the actual heist itself, as Money Heist shows the complications that come with it. Although the heist is a success, the professor's team loses Oslo, Moscow, and Berlin in the process. The Money Heist Season 3 picks up two or three years after the Royal Mint of Spain heist with Rio captured by Europol. This forces the professor to use Berlin's plan for the Bank of Spain heist with the hopes that Rio can be freed in the process. The professor brings Tokyo, Helsinki, Nairobi, and Denver back for the heist and adds Stockholm, Manila, Lisbon, Bogota, Palermo, and Marseille to the team. Only Nairobi has died amid the Bank of Spain heist, but the job isn't over at the end of Money Heist Season 4. Future seasons of the series, should there be more, will have to show what comes next and expand the timeline further. Thank you for watching our video. Leave us a comment below, we will try our best to improve. And please subscribe to our channel.